let's talk about uh, IBM getting prepped for uh, Quantum Safe. Well, what's going on here? Hey, well, Pat and I were at uh, Orlando for the IBM Think 2023 yep. and a lot of different announcements. And Quantum Safe was one of the announcements. Uh, what they're worried about is um, in the future when quantum computing is able to uh, take care of error correction and build enough qubits into the machines that uh, it'll have the ability to uh, crack uh, RSA and all the other forms of encryption. Yeah. Uh, somebody, I mean, there's all kinds of studies, but one of the studies was that it would take uh, a quantum machine with 20 million qubits. It'd have to be fault tolerant to, uh, to crack uh, RSA 2048. And of course, we're a, a long way from 20 million qubits right now. But uh, with a machine that size, you'd be able to crack just about every encryption there is. So, so uh, the government and uh, IBM and uh, everybody in the industry is uh, worried about that event. And that's off in the future. And they're saying it's going to happen maybe around 2035. So uh, they're working on new encryption algorithms. Uh, NIST is. Uh, Got uh, basically four of them selected. It's going to replace and be quantum safe algorithms. Uh, they're they're all lattice type uh, algorithms. And IBM has built a um, a program. Uh, they're working on it. Still, it's in progress. Called quantum safe. And what quantum safe will do is uh, be able to take a uh, an enterprise and uh, use quantum safe to go in and discover what algorithms aren't safe uh, to um, uh, determine what has to be done in order to replace them and actually go in and, and do the replacement with the quantum safe algorithm. So, uh, the government's issued a, um, uh, NSA has issued a, uh, a statement that uh, they're going to have to do everything uh, by 2035. So, that's what people are working on. There's also a roadmap that IBM has uh, put together showing all the steps in between and uh, it's uh, quite a comprehensive program they developed, and it's so uh, you said 20 million qubits, Paul. Like 20 million fully formed qubits. 20, 20 million error corrected qubits. Now that could be, uh, you know, there's a difference between physical qubits and logical qubits, and and uh, to uh, now the error correction direction we're taking is that uh, it's going to take a number of logical qubits to to make. A, 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 a lot of physical qubits to make a logical qubit. So uh, that could that could include logical qubits and physical qubits together. So, but it's going to be a big machine. Yeah. So when I first heard about all of this, because this concept is is has been discussed a lot, I was thinking, God, what a great thing! Like something doesn't show up for ten years, you got to buy something to to head it off, and then and then getting into the discussions, you have uh, countries and and other nefarious folks uh, gathering data, their data harvesting today, where the data is encrypted, exactly. that sometime in the future can be uh, can be unlocked. So I get it, uh, and IBM certainly seems like it's on the forefront. I think they're the only one that has a, a service that's up in up and live. Paul? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, actually saw, is, I saw a demonstration of what they're working on, and it's pretty amazing. I mean. Uh, what they put together with software. Of course, it involves AI. Everything involves AI today. So, yeah. 